We're back with more of the exploitation of black farmers in America. Now, several of them have sued and recently received back pay after it was discovered by the U.S. Labor Department that immigrant workers, white immigrant workers, were being given more money than the black farmers. And the black farmers were doing the exact same job. It's a disturbing reality for many black American farmers whose numbers are dwindling by the day. Still with us is John Boyd, Jr. He's the founder and president of the National Black Farmers Association. Now, John, when you were here, uh, we wanted to address some of the concerns. We've had this conversation, but we want to go deeper. Recently, we saw that a federal judge dismissed your lawsuit about the $4 billion debt relief program for black farmers. Essentially, that was President Biden, including a specific uh, element of that package that was supposed to provide relief to black farmers. He reneged on that promise. You uh, and, and Attorney Crump and others filed suit, and now it's been dismissed. Where do you go next in this case? Well, we have filed an appeal uh, to appeal that decision in and, and, and federal court, and I'm hopeful that the courts will take a deeper look at, I'm going to use your words, a deeper look into what really happened uh, to black farmers. You know, every time uh, that we're promised something in this country uh, as black people, and in this case, black farmers, they find a way not to get us the resources that are promised to us. We were promised 120 percent debt relief. For, that's for every uh, black farmer who is eligible and other farmers of color. Uh, that means 100 percent debt relief, 20 percent uh, to pay the taxes. And Congress repealed it uh, under the leadership of uh, Pre President uh, Biden. And, and recently, he just we lost a big decision in, in affirmative action. People, black people going backwards, we need to wake up here. We lost a big decision in, uh, on affirmative action, and the president says he's going to dig deeper uh, to come up with uh, something from the stroke of a pen from, from his uh, uh, desk to help get around uh, a possible uh, uh, on the actual debt relief measure for, for, for college uh, tuition and all of these things. We need him to use the stroke of the pen to help get around the issues that facing America's black farmers. And uh, you know why wasn't it the same outrage uh, when this administration went back on its word to do that? Uh, we're always overlooked uh, in the fixed problem in this country. And we were uh, the nation's uh, first, first black occupation here in the country for black people. So I turned, to, I turned my fight to the federal courts, hoping that we can get some uh, uh, resolve there. If not, I'm going to take my fight to the upcoming presidential election and to let uh, sure. Americans know uh, that we've been left out and uh, for people on the Hill telling me, boys, you got to take this one on the chin. Uh, you, uh, you don't have a way out on this. Uh, I'm going to take my fight right out here to the American people and let the American people make the decision on how we were treated as, as voters in this country, because we voted probably 99% for uh, President uh, uh, Biden, there hasn't been a sit-down meeting with the president, and there hasn't been a, a sit-down meeting with his act secretary. I mean, come on, people, that's a given for a body of people who voted in a block uh, to support this administration. Well, and also, John Boyd, the, the, an administration and a president that said during his inauguration speech that he did owe black America, to your point of his debt uh, that he owes the black electorate uh, as to the result of him even being the 46th president of the United States. Something else I want to bring up is something you said in our previous conversation before the break here. You said that black America needs to realize that we've got more work to do. Talk about how important it is that black America kind of connects the dots what's happening and the distreatment of black farmers, what's happening with the gutting of affirmative action, what's happening with black yeah. people disproportionately carrying more student loan debt that they will not get relief from. In your lived experience, because you are a man of, of significant lived American experience, do you believe that what's happening yeah. right now, John Boyd, is a backlash of what some Americans, some white Americans, uh, some federal government leaders feel has been too much, quote, progress of black folk in this country? I believe it's a, a continuation, uh, a slow uh, drag down or takedown, uh, might I uh, describe it as. Uh, what's happened to us as uh, black farmers didn't just start with uh, uh, President Biden, where uh, I openly supported him and, and got on early, early on. It took a, a chance with this uh, sure. president uh, early on when there were many candidates in the race. I supported this president. 
from administration to administration, from Congress to Congress, we fail to fix the problem at the United States Department of Agriculture and its farm lending programs around the country and, and ag lending and the top 10 agriculture companies. These are all issues that we're facing every day. We are those big names that, we're, uh, that haven't uh, dialed uh, my, you know, my number to talk about this, get educated on it, and to see how they can lend their voice. Uh, sometimes people, it's not your checkbook. Sometimes it's your voice saying that I support the, the Black Farmers Movement. We support uh, the lawsuit. We support these Black Farmers getting justice. Well, listen, John Boyd Jr., what we know is you are not going to take anything on the chin. You're not going to take anything lying down, nor should you. And here at The Grill, we look forward to helping you amplify.